Anywho, now that that's going, uh, let's see. Let's let's go grab what resources I sent back and let's let's make some money. Uh, it's I don't know about half this stuff. We don't care about the potions. We certainly don't care about the petals. Big Buster Sword I can sell. There's just a lot of trash here that I sent back. Ha! Ah. Ow! Alright. Oh, you know, that's one thing I could do, actually. I should probably just chuck some of this stuff in the, um... in the discount bin. Just move that over. Let's grab... We want to hold on to this this spear by spare weapons, I think. And everything else in there, pretty much? No, 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 no. Now every everything in here just goes in the discount bin. Perfect. Okay. Gimme, gimme. I think those logs might not be... ...necessary. And I don't know about the magnetite. But a lot of this stuff can just get auto sold. I really thought I'd need some some more of these resources. But I guess not. I'll just leave those there. I'm sure I maybe could have grabbed some more of these resources and used them more more successfully. Uh we should probably sell this sword. Unfortunately, uh people don't buy weapons as much. So it's less worthwhile for me. I don't know, whatever. Anyway. Money! My assistant just kind of stands around and does actually nothing. And yeah, it looks like 6000 was a good price for those, uh, those books. Oh. The hangout over here. I forget. We get thieves, so hanging out behind the register is a bad move. Do what you want. I know what you're up to. I don't even know where they're headed. <laughs> Are they gonna go for the training sword and shield? I... sure, why not? Okay. I can just sell some of these things, I already know what the prices on, on them are. Makes my life a lot easier. Okay, and this stuff is too pricey. I think we actually did determine that a thousand was too pricey and then I just never actually adjusted the price. That might be something I chuck in the uh, bargain bin instead then. Yeah, let's just do that. Because if it's less than a thousand, then it's not worth selling. Uh, or it's not worth using my space for. Ish. Uh, where'd I put it? There it goes. One second. There we go. Let's see, have I sold these yet? No, I haven't. Actually, I have no idea how much they're worth. Probably not that much. What else we have? Sword and board. I should probably actually just sell it a discount too. <laughs> oh man. Not actually worth that much money, but that's fine. Oh, I forgot to switch in my decorations. Can I can I do it now? No, it's too late. I was really hoping I could switch out my desc decorations, because yeah, I got uh Got another decoration that increases uh, the amount people will tip me by for another 10%. At this point, I'm making half my money just purely because of schmutz that I put on my walls. Which, in retrospect, that sounds really strange. If I remember right, this is probably worth like 2,000. Oh, the training sword is actually worth more. Yeah, because I used to sell it for the amount of money you had to pay the blacksmith to get. Like, to get the thing. And, um... And people were not having those prices. So I guess I might be able to crank it up. Mainly, though, just mostly interested in getting, getting it gone. Come on, Thiefy boy. 
I also have a theory that if the person can't put an item back on the shelves, they will just automatically buy it. I could be wrong about this, but I've... Okay, did not like that price. Oh. Okay. So the, they don't like, like these prices. Bad news, actually kind of frustrating news, my stupid assistant, who does nothing, by the way, um, will block me. I can't move past them. So if they're if they're standing there, I, they are straight up an impediment to me. I I kind of hate the assistants and their entire existence. Thousands too much for crystal shards? Thousands too much for crystal shards. Alright, so pretty much everything on this shelf except for the fruit. Which, actually, now that I'm double-checking it, if I remember right, the... No, no, no. Price on fruit is fine. Okay, I'm taking the logs back. I'm just taking these back. They all go in the bargain bin. I've never sold magic mushrooms, but I'm going to assume they're worth some. Come on! Move! I'm actually going to get mad at that thing. Because it's... the All the character does is just stand stand around. They they will do... They, they don't do anything in the shop. I have a permanent impediment inside my own place. Because I can walk through NPCs, no problem. But I can't walk... Through them? Like, if they're not going to help, they shouldn't be in the store. And I can't fire them, either. Whatever. I'll be fine. I'm just... A little miffed, because that's such a... Such a stupid, uh... That's such a stupid, uh, game design. People like the price for that. Have Has anybody even looked at that? The answer is no. Okay. Well, I've got a lot of money and I have nothing to spend it on. But I've already got the speed powder. So, I guess, actually, if I got this, let's let's go buy every bit of upgrades. Why did he have an exclamation mark over him? Well, let's get the Barkin bin. How much do I have left? So, cloud bed or big chest? Let's go cloud bed. Because if I can actually get all the upgrades, who knows? Maybe it'll give me something else. Probably not, though. Decorations. Uh, I'll remember for next time. Or I'll forget it doesn't matter that much. I cleared everything from my inventory, right? I think I did. I'm pretty good at that. Okay. No, I went to the wrong... I went to the wrong dungeon. I guess what I can do is actually just go out to the main menu. Because it hasn't saved yet. I haven't done anything. I just reflex when it went to the forest dungeon, which does actually make me a bunch of money. But I don't I don't care. I don't have any interest in doing it. Yep, okay, there we go. Oh! Now we have three shields as well. So three free, free hits and an extra 250. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. So, the upgrades that I bought for my... The upgrades I bought for my shop carried over. Interesting. So it does save some of that stuff. Not all of it, though. And yeah, I'm fully equipped. Okay, so desert, desert temples over here. And that gets me all the extra bits. Cool. Oh no. They're slimes. They set me on fire. I mean, honestly, it might actually be... 
straight up in my uh, best interest to uh, to switch over to a largely bow-based. Uh, run for a while. Oh, wow, that got close. Because the bow does, like, a respectable amount of damage. Have I, did I read the journal in here? I don't actually remember if I did. Oh my! I can now confirm that at the bottom of every, every dungeon is a giant beast. I would like to spend further time looking into whatever they may be guarding, but something else caught my eye today. I witnessed a new creature near the aforementioned Colossus. It was not concerned with me, so it wasn't a guard. It was a smaller orange variant of the green monster. The one that occasionally chases me if I spend too much time in the dungeon. Which deserves more attention, honestly. Why is that thing around? But this small orange creature... It wasn't guarding treasure. It was completely oblivious of me. What was it doing down here? It's straight up my new phrase of the day. It could be, yeah. I do kind of tend to collect them. I wonder if it, that will roll at me. Or if it just rolls in a pattern. As usual, keep an eye out for sparkles, because I'm kind of bad at noticing them. I'm a little bit focused on, um... I'm a little focused on going for, uh... Um... I'm a little focused on... I'm not going to say not dying. He missed. Sort of. That's effective. Oh, and good. We need more of those. We always need more of those. Here we get more random guff. And getting a lot of cloth. That'll be good. And yeah, I can just kind of cowardice back here. I, I'm still not sure if the poison effect is, is better or worse than if I'd gone with raw damage. But I guess it doesn't make that big of a deal. Or it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't make that big of a difference. Okay, sparkle in the last room, bottom right. Uh, let's see, probably this one. Yep, there we go. We've got the chest. Okay. It'd be neat if there was kind of like an upgrade system, like an accessory system in this game as well. Um, with various passive benefits, like detect sparkles or make sparkles more obvious. Uh, or safeguards like an extra row of inventory. Or just gives you another bag. I, I would have loved to see some more mechanics like that. Just, you know, kind of little quality of life improvements. As opposed to pure combat. Also be neat if it uh, actually had gone like full Zelda and it included like, um... More weird weapons like Boomerang and whatnot. Oh, have I read this one? Okay, nope. It's just talking about how things are getting removed. It'd also be really rad if you could actually hire, like, people in your shop. Like, if instead of being um, an upgrade, uh, it's something that comes as part of an upgrade, how rad would it have been if there was a... Um, how rad would it have been if they had added... Like, um, how do I describe this? Like a, a hireling service. So if you could, so you could like, uh, oh, I actually did that without taking damage. Like you could buy a guard dog. You could buy a, uh, a, a straight up, like actual guard. You could hire assistants to do different things. One that would just run your shop for you, one that would man the register, one that would restock resources, depending on... Uh, 
restock resources depending on where you are and what you're up to. Uh, so, say you could have, like, this chest goes to this areas and so on and so forth. Alright, we want to go the other way. Because that would be really cool. Shame they didn't do that. Or really anything. That's okay. I just... This is this is something I will say kind of often, or this will this will happen often when I'm playing a game that I really like the idea of, but the actual execution um, might not be all there. Cause like I can see the potential in games. Okay, so these things will not follow you; they are just automatic. And where they no, they will go after you. Okay, good to know. I'm just gonna wail on this guy. He is... I, you pretty much have to beeline for him. Otherwise, he, he just kind of messes your, your day up. I, already, I lost three shields to him. These little suckers can hurt me. I'm not even sure how. I don't know if it's like an invisible projectile or what. But they have some means of harming me. That isn't just a... Oh, that, that one got me. Ooh, we need wires. And this is something I could break. Cool. Not sure if it's helpful. And nope, just damage. But yeah, so I'll see the potential in a game and say like, Man, wouldn't it be cool if there was this or this or this or this? And give me that thing. Give me that headband. I don't know how many of you guys saw that movie growing up. Hopefully very few of you. It was trash. What is this thing? I don't know. It's a rolling cube. An enemy AI gets kind of dodgy if it doesn't have a ranged attack. They're just like, well, no one's here. I'm dying, but it's clearly not the player's fault. Oh, well. But yeah, so I don't know. I just see all the things that they could have done to make this game just so much more interesting. And then... They didn't. That makes me a bit... Oh! That's what this thing does. Ow. Okay. So this thing is just a... Kind of a dick. It's not so bad, but still. Okay. Oh, I had just never interacted with this chest, period. Uh, insulating dust. I'm going to get rid of the diamagnetic magnetic sand. I'm going to get rid of some of this. Bring these things over. I got too many things that are potentially going to break other things. Actually, kind of a nuisance. Uh, let's see. Trying to safeguard all of them. You go back. Uh, have we tried selling flammable dust? It's 500 apiece. Probably isn't worth it. Might be useful for other sets of armor, but not... Not the one that I use. Whoops. Wait, can I just leave these rooms? I've never actually tried running away. I would never really thought of it as a possibility, but I, I guess you can just, like peace out if it's a um you can just peace out if it's a if it's a room you don't want to fight immediately okay so what do we what does this say nope bow and arrow with the separation between the original dungeon divers has occurred the divide is clear the divide is distinct on one side, you have the adrenaline-fueled, glory-seeking danger junkies. This group calls themselves heroes. On the other side, you have the merchants. These responsible ones view dungeon diving as a job. Less about glory, more about finding the most valuable item and getting out of there as quickly as possible. At which point, they set up shop in town with their new goodies for sale. One is possibly braver than the other. The other, possibly more intelligent. 
But I'll just let you come to your own conclusion on this one. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen any sparkles, but I haven't been looking. I probably should, but I'm mostly just interested in getting further so I can get the requisite materials upgrade. Because I'd really like to... I'd almost like to upgrade this bow more. The sword is good. Can I read? There we go. Data entry 125. According to this month's report, the most valuable items are being left untouched in our warehouses. Only tools and materials used to build our autonomous guard bodies are take being taken. Okay, never mind. I have no idea what's going on. Maybe it's the ghost? Oh, I didn't even notice him there. Okay, good, that fire gem is within range. Now, does this... Can this guy not shoot sideways? I don't know. Okay, what do we got? More destructible things. Uh, let's get rid of some of this. Same thing with the rich jelly. This stuff sells well. Question. Will I be able to... No. Or that's fabric bandana three. No. Okay, so we still haven't found half the resources I need to upgrade my my weapon set, unfortunately. But that's Oh, okay. There's there's a proof. These things can and will shoot sideways. Oh. Okay. That hurts. So it looks like this thing will only only shoot in the direction that it is moving, and it doesn't actually care where I am in the process. Fair enough. Uh, let's get rid of some of the singletons. I know some of these are worth probably just about as much, but if there's only one of them, and they've got a curse on them, they're, they're going to be very difficult to uh, replace. Uh-oh. Luckily, time is paused while I'm doing this. Either that or I'm about to die. At which point I'm going to be kind of upset. Let's decurse this one as well. Move all this over. I have got a volcanic stone. Some things. Honestly, I'm just going to get rid of the single empowering crystal. Alright, and I think now is a good time to GTFO. I can stick around, but I'm clearing the floor too slowly. For it to be helpful here. And we still haven't even found half the resources I'm looking for. Now this was this was way too low of a price. So let's do three thousand. Yeah, unfortunately I've got a lot of resources or resources? I've got a lot of things to sell and I don't know what half of it sells for. But I mean that's that's normal. Okay. So we want to put over the wires, the cloth, the rest of this. And the enchanting. And that. Okay, the rest of this can just get shucked up. I wonder if um I wonder if she'll only sell things. I wonder if she'll only sell things uh, that are on the shelves. It's possible. Okay, do I have anything else I can sell? Like the log and a little bit more. Yes, okay. I actually have been hoarding spare resources that I didn't realize. Question, do I have... Okay, I do have one of the great swords. Cool, so I have some more that I can just kind of... Dump off. Ah, uh, right. I think it's this one? Let's switch this out for... 
thunder stuff. Right. That looks kind of dangerous. Oh well. Hold open shop. It is time. I'm buy things. Do I have... Okay, I do have some more of these magnet stones, which might not... Yeah, 3,000 was too much. It might be too much as well. We'll find out. I'm going to have to raise the prices on some of these things. Well, that's fine. Granny, stay away from the Tesla coils. You'll get shocked. Don't ask why I have them in my shop. There's no good reason. I have no business being here. Okay, speaking of... I didn't realize I had a bunch of magnetite still hanging around there, too. I keep kind of underestimating it as a resource, and I'm assuming... It's probably not worth much. L let's set it down to a thousand. Just get rid of it. Ah, ah! My assistant was part of the mob. Okay, so magic mushrooms are not worth much at all. That's a shame. I was hoping I could actually sell them for money. Okay, what else do I have? This, which I think I sold. 2,000 was too low, so let's let's go up to 4,000, see, see what's what. Maybe selling weapons actually is the end game for this game. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's not the full end game, because yeah, she only bought it for 4,000. Naive merchant. Oh, probably for undercutting. I don't care. Question, is this a fair price? 3,000 is a fair price for that. I don't care if I'm naive, I'm rolling in it. Oh, right. This stuff ain't worth butts. Let's see, Desert Stone's worth 3,000 though. Let's see. And I believe 2,000 was too little on this. Let's set it for 4,000, give or take. And we've got a bandit man. Holy crap, magic mushrooms are worth nothing. I guess nobody, nobody wants recreational experiences in this game. Nope. I don't know if he was about to book it. Is Shifty Von Banditstein going to, uh... Nope, I have no idea what he's going for. Ah. The soldering iron is worth a fair amount. Okay, put this back. Add some of those plates somewhere. We've got the Curious Mute jottings. I'm going to sell them for 5,000. Let's. That might be a bit much. Who knows? So we also have the Golem King Energy Crystal, which... I'm going to sell for a lot, just because getting... I can't get more of it, honestly. Okay, and 3,000 is too much for this. There we go. I really, really hate this assistant. Uh, it's not so bad, but it's like... It's just kind of insulting to have her just milling about in the shop. What happens if you simply don't attend to someone who picks up an underpriced item? Uh, I think you actually could uh, put it up for a higher price. I don't think it's going to stop you. But I think it's also one of those where... Uh, I think the popularity of the item goes down kind of as a, a punishment of sorts. Okay, we also have the Insulating Dust, which I actually get the feeling it's probably not worth much. With a name like Insulating Dust, it's probably garbage. You talk to the NPCs around town, one of them will actually give you a recipe for some kind of, like, weird horror food. Whoa! Oh, she will! Okay, Assistant has proved herself at least a little bit. She will actually take out thieves, if they go by.
Okay, so it turns out volcanic stone ain't worth much. But the dust was a good price. Okay, well that's good. And maybe the bigger shop will be easier to get around with. Yeah, unfortunately we got to beat the dungeon before I get the uh, before I get the ability to get the next level of uh, shop, I believe. I guess we'll find out because uh, I certainly have enough money to get that up upgrade. I think. I think. Okay, we only had two thieves. Yeah, there's some decorations that uh, decrease the prevalency of thieves. I gotta grab more of those. Okay, so we want to do shop improvements. Can I get this? Nope, increase the popularity of Renoka. So I guess we'll just get the big chest upgrade for now. And then I have to go fight one more dungeon. Hey, these guys are capped out. Uh, inventory has... What? It says... Oh, it said two out of... What? All right. Well, I am just wealthy, I guess. Uh, let's see. So tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day when this guy wants his speed powder. Which sounds real weird. Let's dump off the enchanting. Dump off the enchanting. Good to go.